Moorcroft and welcome once again to Letters and Numbers as we embark on a show that celebrates the spirit of discovery through a brave search for new words and wondrous equations. So before we set sail, let's greet our trusty crew. Firstly, the mathematician who can navigate her way around any problem, Lily Serna. Hi, Hello, Lily. Actually, how are your sea legs? Oh, I'm gen generally OK. Do you get seasick? Not usually, but I do remember this one time on a ferry in Greece, and um, in Greece they don't have these laws that you're not allowed to smoke inside, um, and uh, I couldn't go outside because it was so rough, the seas were so rough, they weren't letting anyone outside. Oh, so, so you were actually all captive in yeah. an enclosed cabin. Yeah, and it was just... And everyone was smoking. Yeah, it wasn't mm, I, I don't think we need any more details. <laughs> it, it, it didn't go well, did it? <laughs> it wasn't good. <laughs> How about you? Are you generally... Uh, well, actually, I'm not too bad. I don't tend to get seasick too much as long as I can you know, keep my eyes on the horizon. That's the critical thing. That's the Eyes trick. on the horizon. Let's keep our eyes on the horizon tonight. The man adrift in a sea of words, David Astor. <laughs> you actually have been a nautical type in quite a serious way, haven't you? Well, in fact, uh, Dad was a merchant sailor and uh, I, through uh, Dad I had an opportunity to go on a cargo ship for three months. Oh. 25 years ago, uh, from Sydney to Oslo, and that was quite an experience. What a great time. Well, life on the ocean wave. Let's go to the people now endeavouring to be tonight's winner. And first up, our carryover champion, Richard Hartley, a planetary science student and guitar teacher who is now back for his third appearance tonight. Richard, hello. Hi, Richard. Good to see you back. Thanks. I gather at one time you actually had trouble reading because you were so fascinated with what with what happened to words when you looked at them. That's right. Uh, I blame it on Scrabble. <laughs> I used to play so many games of Scrabble a day that um, when I picked up a book to read it, I'd start making anagrams out of the words and couldn't finish the sentence. <laughs> well, I don't think you and David have anything in common at all, That's really. Right. Yes, get out while you can. <laughs> <laughs> Look, welcome back and good luck tonight. And challenging Richard is Jenny Bradford, an integration aide at a primary school who also runs her own counselling business. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Richard. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, integration aid, uh, it sounds very technical. What actually does that involve? We actually work within the classes and around the school and we um, create additional programs and independent learning plans and help the children cope with social and emotional wellbeing and their individual learning throughout their school day. Great that you're with us here tonight. Thank you. Good luck. So, all the best competing against the clock tonight, not to mention each other, of course, Richard Hartley and Jenny Bradford. <laughs> the ladies' game, as usual, to start us off, both contestants will try to make the longest word that they can using those letters that they select, which is what you're just about to do, Richard. Um, could I start with a consonant, please? You certainly can. Let's start with T. And another consonant? C. And another consonant. S. And a vowel, please. I. Uh, a consonant. B. A vowel, please. E. Another vowel. O. A consonant. G. And uh, another consonant, please. And lastly, S. And our first 30 seconds. Uh, hear the five first. Sites. S I T E S. Thank you. And Richard? Um, coziest. What do you think, David? Well, let's check because it needs to be listed because it is two syllables and two syllable adjectives need to have the superlative and comparative forms uh, listed. So, particularly as there is a spelling shift from the Y to the I. And coziest in this case is listed. So, well done, Richard. Um, the gamble paid off. A good seven. And uh, in fact, the man wins a cigar, and that would be a stogie, S-T-O-G-I-E, which is a long, thin cigar of mixed tobacco, and an S, and that's another seven. 
Nice work from you, David, but uh, also from Richard for seven points. And for our next Letters game, it's uh, Jenny to make your first selection for the show. Can I please have a vowel? You can. Let's start with A. And another vowel. I. A consonant, please. D. Another vowel, please. O. A consonant. H. Another consonant. T. A vowel, please. E. Another consonant. C. And a vowel, please. And last letter, O. And here's the clock. Jenny, how did you go? Five. Five for you again, Richard? Uh, six. Six this time. Let's have your five first, please, Jenny. Hated. Could you spell that? H-A-T-E-D. Oh, dear, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, what was your six? Um, coated. Sound good, David? Well, it sound good. Uh, coated, of course, the longer the six gets the points. And I went uh, one step further, adding an H to coated, mixing and getting uh, cathode, which is an electrode that gives off negative ions. Thank you very much. So, six points for Richard. Time for our first mathematics of the evening now with uh, the numbers game. And, Richard, what combination would you like this time? Um, Lily, could I have two large ones and four small, please? Two large and four small. Thanks, Richard. And our numbers are one, one, five, six, and the two large, 25 and 50. And the target number is 600. 30 seconds to get there. right on target very nice what about you Jenny yes exactly. excellent work so Richard uh, your method first please okay um, one plus one is two one plus one is two <laughs> uh, times six is twelve by the six is twelve and then multiply that by fifty by the fifty six hundred very nice and very straightforward. Um, Jenny was your method the same no mine was slightly different okay let's let's hear how you did your uh, I version did six plus five Plus one is twelve. Six plus five plus, plus one, one is twelve. Times the fifty. By the fifty. Six hundred. Nicely done. Right on target for Jenny as well. Well, there are two variations there on, on how to get that 12. Um, any other approaches that you think are interesting? I can think of another variation. Okay. Okay. Five minus one is four. By 25 is 100. By the six, 600. Very nice as well. Lots of variations on the theme, but uh, some very nice numbers delivering some very nice points to both Jenny and Richard. Ten points each. Jenny's now on the scoreboard with ten. Richard on 23. As we head to our first break, your first word mix. It's crib hems. And the clue this time, to sully someone's standing. Back very shortly. <laughs> 